Short-term loans will be given to companies affected by the government's recent move to voluntarily stop exporting their seafood products to the European Union EU. Health Minister Dato Leo Tiong Lai says that the soft loans will be provided to the companies. He was speaking after he chaired a meeting with Agriculture and Agrobase Industries, Minister Dato Mustafa Muhammad and other stakeholders. Yeah, they have been audited and uh, some comply, some didn't comply. So we are, we are asking them some minor uh, problems, no? we ask them to comply as soon as possible. They, then we give them the time. They, they are actually adjusting it, uh, uh, repairing it and also uh, upgrade their facilities so that they can comply. He adds that he has asked Bank Negara and the Finance Ministry to help out and the Cabinet has agreed to increase the number of staff in both the ministries and the Fisheries Development Authority of Malaysia. This is to upgrade their capability as competent authorities to monitor the establishments and ensure they fulfilled EU requirements. A total of 1,282 full-time positions will be available with 254 in the Health Ministry, 961 for the Agriculture and Agro-Based Industry Ministry. Among the measures that some companies have taken to ensure quick relisting with the EU is to purchase their own trucks and manufacture their own block ice that comply with the requirements. He also says that the International Trade and Industry Ministry is working with embassies overseas to help scout for other markets to avoid the industry from suffering from a seafood glut. The numbers of companies are sorting it out. But at least for a minimum, we have quite a few. I think. No problem. We actually, we have quite numbers that are complying already. There are 46 companies involved in the delisting that Malaysia carried out in mid-June to avoid a total ban by the EU. Liao also says that the first batch from the 46 companies will be ready for EU inspection from August 1st. Himalata Subramaniam, The Star Malaysia.